Hello people, I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Katrina Alicia, and we just got done watching Sairat Narasimha Reddy, directed by Surrender Reddy. It stars Amitabh Bachchan, Tamana Bhatia, Vijay Sethupathi, Huma Qureshi, Nayanthara, Sudeep, Chiranjeevi, Anushka Shetty, uh, Matthew Sterling, and uh, Jagapathi Babu. I don't want to miss anybody, you know? By the way, a shout out to Oscar oh, yeah. Staggerberg, who is like guy. just a really good villain in this movie. Okay, so I'm going to keep this spoiler free for the time being, and I'll let you know when it becomes spoiler territory. This is exactly what I was expecting from the trailer. You didn't see the trailer. I didn't see a trailer. I went in blind. Have you seen any Indian movies before this? No. Okay, so this is her first this Indian like film first, ever. Yeah. I was expecting a film that was kind of fantastical, but also historical at the same time. I can't really think of anything except for... Now, oh, before I say anything at all... Before I go any further, I want to say that I will be referencing films that are not Indian. I don't want you guys to like just hate on me in the comments for mentioning certain things. There are similarities that uh, help us to contextualize certain things. That's mm -hmm. number one. And there are things that just seem to be inspirations from non-Indian films. There might also- Filmmaking in general. Yeah, filmmaking in general. It's just how it is. There are probably also uh, Indian film influences that I just don't recognize. Yeah. So there's that possibility as well. And feel free to school me in the comments about what those uh, references or inspirations might be yeah. that uh, I'm just not privy to. The only other film I can think of that, <laughs> I was so <laughs> reluctant to say this, but I gotta be honest, the only other film I can think of that's historical but also fantastical is 300. <laughs> This has a very similar structure to 300, mm -hmm. where it bookends a storytelling aspect. And I'm like, okay, that's cool, I, I yeah. like it. While on that note, I wanna say that I came out of 300 actually not enjoying it. I came out of 300 with a negative feeling like, I don't really get the point of this movie, it's just a nonstop action and it's very blah. Whereas most people enjoyed it. This movie resonated with me. It, it, it really touched me and I, it had me excited, it had me cheering, it had me clapping and, and laughing and just like happy at times. It, you know, it, was, it gave me all the emotions that I wanted out of 300. To me, this is a much better movie, at least emotionally. I loved the gravitas that Amitabh Bachchan uh, brought to the film. Sharon Jeevy's performance in this was really good. I felt like he did a great job of riding that line between this historical, mythologized, uh, superhero type of uh, person leading this battle against the Brits. He had these moments that were vulnerable as well, and mm -hmm. I, I just, I felt it when he was performing that. Person that just completely killed me, where I almost fainted, was uh, Tamana Bhatia. Like her, firstly, her acting was really good. Of course. Her, her movement was really good, but like, God damn! <laughs> I was like, she beautiful. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, she is warm. Sometimes it's a good hurt. I couldn't even form words. I was, mm -hmm. I literally had you to like, turn to you, and I was like, jeez. Like just. <laughs> I think yeah. that's what you said. Yeah. Like you just leaned over and went, uh and yeah. I was like, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. Vijay Sethupathi, his part was not as big, but I thought that what he brought to it was nice. He, to me, was like the Irish guy, the Irish uh uh, uh war leader in oh, Braveheart. In, okay. Yeah. yeah, where he goes, I'm Irish. Like that guy where he almost cuts the Scots down. Like mm -hmm. uh he was is just like this crazy cool addition. Other references. <laughs> He wrote them Might down. Might as well get everything. this out of the way. This film was like 300 Braveheart, The Patriot, Ong Bak, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and Avengers combined into one. Yes. And I mean all of that in an endearing way, in a positive way. Yes. There is a fight scene. Oh it, my god. It, it, like in the first half of this movie, that was mind blowing. I was like. It was beautiful. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah. It was so cool. Yeah. I, just... I think in general, you actually like the action more than I did. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, the whole time I was just sitting there like, yeah. holy crap. For the action alone, I would say that that first fi that fight scene that we're talking about, mm -hmm. where he confronts the junior villain, I guess, is the easy way to put it without giving away too much. That scene was so well put together in terms of the movement. That's why I'm saying like Ong Bak, because like the movement was, I understand India created martial arts. I'm not forgetting that. But just in terms of like, for me, my context, right? The movement was so like uh, Tony Jaw-like in terms of how he's fl fluidly moving around and beating mm -hmm. guys up and then flipping off stuff and throwing knives. Bouncing much, off walls. Yeah. And, and that, that's my Crouching Tiger reference where he's like flipping and, t and tossing stuff at the same time. And I'm like, this is so well done. I was like, I was sitting there watching going, 
I think this might be the best Indian fight scene I've seen so far. Just in terms of the way it's shot and executed. Yeah. I could feel it, it's cutting quick, but I'm still not losing my geography. Mm -hmm. In terms of the fight scenes, I never lost my sense of geography with that particular fight. And then a, yeah. a fight, there's some fights later on that take place where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm like invested in, in it. it. That junior boss fight sequence was the best in the entire movie. Um, so in terms of story, uh, I was feeling a little concerned in the first 30 minutes. I'm like, okay, so is this, because it's like, it's, for, as, a, as Americans, it's just like flying by. And I'm trying so to, quick. I'm trying to read the subtitles. If you are a filmmaker that worked on, on Syrah, um, and, and you're watching this review, my, my one uh, request, please, for English subtitles, please put a shadow layer on the subtitles because I can't I can't see them sometimes when it's in white light, on white or the water yeah. scenes or like there were times I was like I'm just gonna have to go off of the actors here to know yeah. what they're saying of the visuals what I'm gonna have to roll with right the first and I was expecting this in the first like 15 20 minutes when it's setting the film up I'm like a lot of this is happening fast and I know that once we get into the movie I'm gonna be more invested I'm gonna know what's going on mm -hmm. but this first part is is just kind of losing me a little bit because it's going through so much explanation yeah. expository exposition yeah exposition it's going through so much and I'm like okay I have a feeling that once we get past this it's gonna be all right and it was yeah. it, it, it was like once we got to the adventure and whatnot I was like once we got to our main actor it, it was fine I'm like I'm good the way it was shot was beautiful the acting for the most part, the acting was really good. The only part that, that I couldn't really tell was the, the white actors in the movie because yes. they were dubbed with Telugu. We, we watched the Telugu version. They, they were dubbed uh, with uh, the Telugu language and I'm like, I I can't, I'm only going off of their faces and I, I like I can't tell if they're good actors or not. But initially I was annoyed that their voices were dubbed in Telugu. But then I remembered that most of the time when I'm seeing white actors in Indian films, their acting's not great anyway. So I'm like, well, it's screw it. It's fine to dub them. It's it's either way, it's not going to be much. That being said, the actor Oscar Skagger, I mean, that. Any of the white villains in the movie, I should say, I actually appreciate. They all were actually. Yeah, they're facially. Did a really good like, job. You know, I, I, I they felt were emotionally there. Yeah, I felt their their plight, if yeah. that makes any kind of sense, and and that that made them better villains, where you could feel their struggle and their back and forth, and that you, could, you know frustrations. You could tell they personalized it in a way where like they had their fight and they knew what they wanted. Right. And I believe them. When you go into this movie, uh, for those of you who don't typically watch Telugu movies, um, you have to know in advance, kind of like within a Jay Devgan film, I suppose. Basically, you know, your main actor here, uh, the main character rather, yeah. is like a superhero. Yeah, I actually, I actually really enjoyed okay. that aspect. I enjoyed that he was like a superhero. I thought it was actually really cool because it makes him this larger than life figure. And you, if you remember, just like in 300, that it's a story being told, you're more accepting of that. Because when you're telling a story, it's like David and Goliath, and Goliath was tw you know 100 feet tall, and David threw a stone at his head. Like yeah. that, it's obviously, if there was a real life David and Goliath, Goliath isn't actually 100 feet tall. He was maybe seven feet tall, right? Yeah. But you, you embellish these stories, and I feel like when you're watching this, despite the fact that it's being embellished, I, I just realized I'm talking so much. I love it. <laughs> despite the fact that it's being embellished, I didn't feel like I lost sight of losses, of, yeah. of, of devastating moments, of you know setbacks in the story. Mm -hmm. There was still sacrifice involved. And so <sighs> while while some hard ones. Yeah, while espousing good philosophy, while espousing something that's just like making you feel uh, uh, inspired. You still feel loss, and I think that's important in the movie. Yeah, absolutely, and genuinely feeling inspired. There were so many moments, like I could literally feel the chills going down my body because I was just like, "This is so intense!" Like I feel what they're trying to make me feel right now. And like you said, like watching them build up that kind of like superhero vibe yeah. for him. In general, like I, I like the way it's shot. I like the acting. I like the the story. There's just a lot to love here. The one thing that bothered me is that there were moments where it just got to be a little bit too melodramatic for me. I sort of expected that, but it was still like, it still kind of jumped out at me. But that was mostly in the first 30 minutes of the movie. There were some moments where the, uh, what do you call that? Ramping got to be a bit too much. If you don't know what ramping is, it's where you, you go slow, fast, slow, fast. That stuff got to be a little bunch at times yeah. for me. That's a technical thing. Most people don't give a sh stuff. They don't care about them trying to watch my language. And outside of those complaints, like I just found this to be very enjoyable. The last thing I want to say before we go into spoilers is there are two dance sequences in this film that were freaking phenomenal. Beautiful. The first one, like the intro to the dance sequence, and it's singing as well. The intro to that scene was a little bit trippy because it was cut, 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 cut. But once it got into it, it was like, it was mesmerizing. It was one of the best that I've seen 
right? And again, to what I said earlier, because I, I, I put out a review earlier tonight, this was consistent with the universe, with the, with the, because uh, it didn't cut to like some random music video type thing. No. It stayed consistent within the universe established. Yes. And I really like that. I um, to it. Same with the second one later on. It still, it still felt consistent, but what was also great was just the music was amazing. The music, the choreography, the colors, yeah. the co all of it. It yeah. just came together so beautifully. Those two songs were, I would love to have that on, on, on my phone just to listen to. Like, mm -hmm. it was fan freaking tastic and Tamina Bhatia did amazing dancing. I was just, just like, oh lord. I just, I could not, I could not, I couldn't like deal with it. It was just so, she's just so gorgeous. Like one of the most beautiful women on screen ever. I'm just yeah. like, how, with the eyes and the lips and like the Face. shape, every, I'm just like, oh boy. I think audibly like over four or five times we both went, jeez. I was like, wow. wow. Yeah, wow. Wow. Literally, wow. Uh, and but, then you add good acting on top of it right. and great choreography, and she's able to dance and all of that. Like, it was, she did phenomenal. I just couldn't handle I was, I, I, I was just like, oh my God, I just can't even do it. He fell in love right then and there, folks. <laughs> first thing I want to talk about as a spoiler is the very end because you, everyone knows as, as an Indian you, everyone knows what's coming oh the last reference I forgot is Tarantino yes I was gonna say it but yeah there you go. and so because the very end basically felt like even though there's no way that the director could have possibly seen uh, um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood the director surely saw Inglorious Bastards yes. at some point right yeah. Not that there's any relation there but the reason I'm referencing Tarantino is because it's how it was written yeah the end of it was so like, what? Because he's hanging, which I'm guessing is what happened in the actual story, like in the actual uh, historical event. Life. He was hung, right? But the thing is, the movie goes, hold on, wait, it's not over yet. He Pretty flips nice. out of the rope. It was so cruel. <laughs> he grabs a sword, starts cutting people down. His head it was gets so crazy. His head gets chopped off, and yet he's still fighting even headless. And I was like, wow, that if that's not symbolic, I don't know what is. That was so great. And it's like a silhouette. It was a shadow or something because you didn't actually see it. It was a shadow of his headless body stabbing yeah, through the villain. Yeah, like stabbing through that final. That was fantastic. Oh my god. And, and his acting when he was delivering his speeches was great. He was so, every time he spoke, every time he was giving a speech of some kind, I felt it yeah. in my heart. I was just like, I would fight if I were there. Like yeah. I f like feel that in my heart. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, one of the things that we both felt was a concern about, because they, they introduce uh, Tamana Tam Bhatia or Lakshmi in the beginning of the movie. There's this, like this romantic element, and then it just kind of comes out of nowhere. Yeah, well, yeah, Ish. but 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 then it dies. It it just goes away, and I was like, well, what was the point of that? Like, is that just gone? And then they find a way to bookend it beautifully, like in the most powerful way possible. Full circle. Yeah. Brought it right back. Yeah, and the way the women are like working, sort of working together at a certain point, I thought was great as well. Like the way they brought everything together, everything came around full circle, yeah. like you said. There was no fat in this movie from what I could tell. Like mm -hmm. everything was there for a reason. Everything yeah. was facilitating the purpose of telling the story. It was at the service of the story and not just there because the movie needed romance. It was like everything was to help the story. One of my major complaints that you've heard me talk about today mm -hmm. is I don't like in American films when they virtue signal, when they're woke, when they're like doing a, a you know, strong feminism for the sake of it, rather than it just being part of the story mm -hmm. and, and it being inspiring that way. Yeah. And I feel like this is another great example where feminism or strong females are, are displayed without it being like, oh, I'm a strong Well, we're strong women. Woman. Look how great we are as women. <laughs> you know, it's like, no, it's they're just strong characters. They just showed it. Yeah. Said, Look and at this I, strong I, I, woman. I mean, she used her dancing to literally destroy 300, 300. British people. I'm Holy like, damn. That was oh amazing. My God. And it was beautiful. And she yeah. went down strong. Yeah. Like, she knew what she was doing because it was, he told her, like, yeah. you learn what you live for. And in that moment, you'll know what you need to die for. Yeah. And she knew. Yeah. And she did. And she sacrificed herself. And it was so crazy. It was amazing. And she was beautiful while she did it. Yeah. I was, I, I, but even that, even though it was so powerful, I'm like, what a waste. I know. I was like, <laughs> like why did you have to go? I, I, I actually jokingly turned to her afterwards. I go, you think she's all right? She's fine, right? <laughs> she's like, she's yeah. Okay. She'll come out of that. Just a second degree burn. Oh it's my gosh. Fine, she's not ash. I was, I was very, very upset when she died. Yeah. I was like, no, no. But then to see like his real wife. Sidharma. Sidama. Sidama. When she kind of respected 
uh, Lakshmi in her death and yeah. like gave her his name, mm -hmm. like when they were getting ready to spread her ashes. Yeah. Like, it was just so powerful and it was just so cool. And again, it was another moment of like that strong female character without them writing. She was just that. She was a strong female character in yeah. a different way as a mother. Yeah. And uh, that was really cool. Well, the, what, one of the things that the film was emphasizing, and I'm like, it's, we sort of talked about this earlier with Gandhi. Uh, it, it's, it's showing that impossibly impeccable virtuous character mm -hmm. of, uh, of, of Sir Syrah. Of, of, you know, he's got this whole long name here. They didn't say that once in the movie. <laughs> they Yula, said the last two they, they said. said the last they did two. not say y that. Yulawada Narashima Reddy. I never heard that first one. Yeah, but Saira, I mean, I'm calling him Saira. I don't actually know if that's his name. He said it a bunch of times. I'm like, he's saying his own name. But like, it, it was their chant almost like uh, Semper Fi. Yes. You know, Narashima Reddy is his actual name. So anyway, uh, my, my point is that he was this very impeccably virtuous character in the film. And part of that impeccable virtuousness was his sacrificing of his romance. Yeah. He, he was already married to this other woman and is like... At six years old. Yeah, but like he was so faithful to his, help helping his people. Yeah. He's like, well, that's just... Even though it destroyed him, he gave into it. He knew what he had to do. Yeah, and he never he never walked back on that. He And he also didn't disregard her either. Like that wasn't her fault. Right. And he still showed respect towards her, which was really cool too. As my first, I guess, it's my first Indian film I've ever seen. Yeah. I feel like it just set a very high bar. Yeah. <laughs> like that's like as much as I can sum it up. Not only beautiful, just, just cinematography, choreography, the fight scenes, the way things were cut together. Like that was gorgeous. The story was beautiful. The writing was good. The acting was fun. Like. I was just an all around really good movie. I can be honest and say like, I wouldn't have normally found myself like watching a movie like that. Yeah. Um, but now I feel challenged mm -hmm. and I, I like that. Now I'm like, oh, there's a whole chunk of like film I haven't seen and now I'm curious and want to see more. I wish they showed more of those female warriors fighting in the battle. <gasps> okay, because they, w where did they come from? Yeah. We got no backstory on that. Yeah. All of a sudden there were just these bad, this yeah. woman yeah. Um, <laughs> with these... That's not a bad word, it's right? a donkey. It's not a bad word. With those crazy like weapons they had in their hands that like looped through and it was like two spikes and they came out of nowhere and just yeah. started killing people. And I was like, wait, where were they? <laughs> Yeah, no, I like them. I love well, the movie didn't have a whole lot of time to establish them, but they were in the battle. And I'm like, well, okay, show them in the battle more. <laughs> you know, I wanted more of them because they were in the trailer. And I'm like, don't do that. Don't do that movie. Like, yeah. it's almost like they were shot just to show in the trailer. Because, mm -hmm. like, what I saw in the trailer is basically what I what saw in the saw. movie. That was mm -hmm. it. And it was not much more than that. And that was disappointing. I was like, no, no, okay. no, give me more of that. I was, I was really excited to see those badass female warriors. Um, because, again, it speaks to they're just badass warriors. It's yeah. not like. Why a woman hear me roar? It's just like, no, no, they're just badass females. We're here to that fight are, for our cause. Yeah, exactly. And that's the big thing with the film is 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 that cause. is Above all else, the cause is cause. what matters. And that's something like to really think about. You know, what we're all fighting for collectively. One of the most symbolic things of the film is um, the fact it's like pan-Indian. Is You got all these different uh, aspects, all these different parts of India working together to fight the common enemy. They had to melt Telugu and every, like these different regions coming together, 61 different uh, tribes or whatever, coming yeah. together to fight this enemy. And that to me is super cool because it shows a unity. And, and at the same time, it did not neglect, it did not forget to show you that even when you have that unity, you've got people inside. Still conflict. Yeah, there's conflict within because there are people who will <laughs> vie for that power when it, it's almost like Game of Thrones in a way. Like, no, you yep. you have to stay unified. There was one Marvel moment in the middle of the battle sequence that was immediately met with heartbreak. It was so interesting. Yeah. Because in Avengers, which is the shot that it's uh, uh, pulling from, it's Avengers, specifically Avengers Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron. Actually, they did it in, in the first Avengers as well. Within this movie, you see all the these huge actors, you know, back to back to back, and they're all kind of moving, and the Panning around, around them. Yeah, that was very much an Avengers shot. But where it differentiates from a film like Avengers is, in Avengers, that is the shot before they go and destroy, before they go and kick ass. Here, there was this that heroic shot. shot, and then they all die. They I'm all like, die. whoa! Like, five of them died. Yeah, like, that completely caught me off guard. That was so great, Ugh. because I'm expecting another 10 minutes of battle where they're just kicking butt, but I, you know, I just realized I was gonna edit it. Because I said the ASS. I don't know if it's a bad word or we not. We don't know. The fact that they immediately got killed off was amazing. It was crazy. I was just in shock. Yeah. And then there was that follow-up moment where he like, because you had leaned over and you were like, it's very Avengers. And I was like, oh yeah, 
it is yeah. kind of. And then they all died, and I was like, oh my god. And then he was real angry and like kicked the shield up like yeah. 15 oh. feet into the air and then right. caught it. And I was like, That's oh yeah, this is very Avengers. Captain America. Like, this is very yeah. Avengers. Right I loved now. all that. I thought it was, it was great. great. And then his speech at the end was was also very uh, powerful. His projection in general was was fantastic. And his you face, know, the way know. he oh. He's got a lot a lot of emotion. So Sharon Jv Sharon Jv does a great job of commanding the like. I can see him actually commanding troops. Yeah. Like he's that strong. That's how much I believed him. In his delivery. Yeah, he was great. He's he's definitely like that that fearless leader. Mm -hmm. And he had some fantastic moments as the fearless leader. Like when he goes and reads the speech that's not actually on the oh, scroll. Oh god, that was yeah. so good. Yeah. There's nothing written on here. And yeah. he's just like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely one of those. Um, just like, just like with Inglorious Bastards, it's it's that. How, how would I? Refer, it's like the satisfying thing to watch. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, as an Indian, you know, kicking the Brits like butts. Even though, yeah. you, even though it's a loss in the end, there's something just very cathartic about uh, it. You yes. know, it's yeah. just it's, it's just a cathartic experience because it's especially you know having watched a bunch of Indian films and and, it's, and knowing what little I know about like mm -hmm. the British. This movie is a very cathartic experience. Yeah. But to see this superhero level of like, just knocking five Brits in the air with one blow and you so know, just cool. cutting, cut. there was there was stuff where I was, I had to clap. I literally had to clap because mm -hmm. the movement was so beautiful and the action was so great. And the, the white actors they got to play the main Brits in the film, the, the villain, the, the main villains, I thought their expressions and their frustrations was, was just great. Yeah. Love this movie. I love Lakshmi, uh, Tamana Bhatia. Oh my Ugh, god! We this, both love this, you. Those two musicals in the film, the two the two songs in the film, so just good. beautiful dancing, beautiful beautifully shot. Um, there's so much to appreciate about this movie. Very much enjoyed it. Hope you all did too. Uh, please check out Katrina Alicia on the social media. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I am Javi Kawe. This is Katrina Alicia. Peace out.